Hey everyone, my name is Natalie from This and Nat or All of This and Nat over on Instagram. I am a wife and dog mom living just outside of Dallas, Texas, and today I am doing a get to know me Q&A. So hopefully you will get to learn a whole lot more about me. But first I just wanted to start with the kinds of videos you can expect on my channel in case you are new and just happening upon this video. So I make all kinds of cleaning, organization, and productivity videos. They are meant to inspire just regular, everyday people to take some joy and getting things done around their house and give you just different ideas. So if you are in for that, make sure to stick around and subscribe to my channel because I hope to have lots of videos for you. And you can expect videos from me on Mondays and Fridays at 9 a.m. Central Time. That's my time currently this summer 2020 um, and I will on occasion have a third video thrown in there. So as you can see right now I've got a buddy. It sounds like she's snoring so I might have to wake her up and kick her out here. Come on sweetheart. <laughs> this is my mother-in-law's dog Bailey. My dog was laying in the hallway so he got shut out of this room but I will tell you all about him here in just a minute. So I wanted to make this video because I feel like whenever I am watching somebody on YouTube and I, I feel a connection with them, I just want to learn more about them. I feel like they're my friend um, and I just want to learn, I just want to know everything. I want to know like where they live, who they live with, like their life story and maybe that sounds like a little bit too much, but maybe you feel the same way. So if you do, this is my, uh, this is your chance to get to know me more. So I have put some questions, or I put a question box over on my Instagram at all of this and that, and you guys submitted some questions. So I am going to go through those and answer them today. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to do just kind of like a basic information um, so that you can have those like straight facts um, right away. And then I would also love if there is anything that you feel a connection like with me about or you can relate to, just let me know in the comments because I would love to know who's listening or if you wanna share anything about yourself, that helps me get to know you guys even more. Of course, if you ever have any video requests, let me know those in the comments too. I do always read them, so yeah, know that you can connect with me there. You can also connect with me on Instagram. Look, I gotta fix my hair. My hair has been, un believably greasy lately. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, so you can connect with me on Instagram and I've also got a blog, allofthisandnat.com. Okay, so let's go over some of the basic things. Okay, just popping in to say that there is sort of a an audio issue um, with parts of this video. Sort of a low humming that lasts for like 15 to 20 seconds. I'm trying really hard to figure out what's causing it so that it won't happen again in my next video, but I think I need a new microphone. Anyway, it doesn't seem to be an issue um, if you are not wearing headphones. I only noticed it while wearing headphones. So if you're able to watch this video without headphones, that's probably going to be the best quality for you. And if you do have to wear headphones, just know that it only lasts for about 15 to 20 seconds. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the video. So let's start over and pretend I am introducing myself to you for the first time. Hi, my name is Natalie. Um, I am 28 years old. I live just outside of Dallas, Texas with my husband, Kent. Um, we are going to be celebrating three years of marriage in July. Um, so that is pretty exciting. The time has gone by really, really fast. Um, we do not have any kids yet, but we do have a dog named Toaster. This is not Toaster. Toaster is in the hallway outside of that door, um, but maybe I can get a little clip of him and put it in here. Bailey. She's going to be snoring. I don't want that to be on the, on the mic. Um, what else? I am a teacher. I am on summer break right now. This is my first week of summer break and I work at a charter school and I am a reading interventionist. I will get more into that a little bit later because that was one of the questions. And my husband Kent works for a sports media company and he works from home. Um, there are some other things that I want to get, want to let you know about me, about our hobbies, so you can get to know me better. But first, let me get this dog out of here because she is a little bit loud. I am back. Sorry about that. I don't even know if you could hear her. But anyway, now it's nice and quiet, except 
now my dog was barking. So anyway, it's real life. Um, but I did want to let you know a few more things about me. I have a few hobbies. I My main one, really the biggest one, is that I am a knitter and a crocheter. I love to knit and crochet. And no, it is not just something that your grandma does. It is super, super modern now. You would be amazed at the world of knitting and crochet and just how engrossed it is it's it's absolutely amazing and it's so much fun um so that is something definitely about me it's something that i do every single day um so yeah i just wanted to let you guys know that little bit about me and if you ever want to learn to knit or crochet i can help you out so let me know um and then my husband kent he is a sports lover he's just kind of dying inside that there's no sports right now, but hopefully it's gonna be coming back soon, especially college football. We love college football. Um, and he also loves video games. And we both have some hobbies that we do together. We play Pokemon Go, um, which is that game, that Pokemon game on the, on your phone where you like can walk around. We like doing that together. And we also really enjoy going to Disney. Um, we have a trip planned to Disney World in July, so hopefully that will happen and I can take you guys along with me and do a little vlog and let you know what it's like here after the virus and everything. So if there are any basic things about me that I missed, let me know and I will do my best to answer them in later videos. But now I'm going to go into the questions that you guys sent on Instagram. Now I did not organize these into any kind of order. I'm just gonna answer them as they come because I figured that would be the most fun and authentic way. So here is the first question. Were you organized tight slash tidy slash, wait, were you an organized slash tidy slash queen clean queen that was hard to say as a kid or did you come to it as an adult so i would kind of say that i've been i've tended towards being organized and clean since i was a kid um, an elementary school age kid but i did talk about this with my mom recently because i told her that i started a youtube channel and she was like what does that mean and you know i had to like show her my videos and stuff and so we were talking about that and she said that i've sort of always tended towards that but she does remember distinctly fourth grade for me my fourth grade teacher being a huge influence for me as far as organization goes that i learned so much from her and that she really saw a change in me in that year so i think that's really cool for all the teachers out there just letting you know that almost by osmosis you can be teaching kids um, you know, positive skills, life skills, just in how you organize your classroom. Um, so, hey, that goes for parents too. So your kids are probably picking up on some of those, um, you know, cleaning habits that you have. And I think that that's really amazing. Kids are so cool. Okay, second question, how did you get toaster? So toaster was my husband, Ken's dog. He got toaster before we started dating, um, but toaster is a rescue. I think he's from the SPCA and he was, I'm trying to remember, I wish Kent would be here to tell this story because he knows it because he was there. Um, but toaster was, I don't know, I think that they, like if he didn't get adopted, something was gonna happen to him. And so Kent went back and checked on him and um, decided to adopt him. He was one of the smallest, I think, in his litter. He's also a different color than all the other dogs in his litter, at least that Kent saw, um, because he is a mutt, but he is a mix with, um, I always forget, blue healer yet he is tan, so he really doesn't look like a blue healer, um, but that's what the vet has told us. Anyway, he's the sweetest dog. He's like medium size, perfect, um, perfect size for us, especially when we like lived in apartments, um, and he's just so sweet. He's just peculiar as anything. Um, he's skittish and scared. He's named Toaster after the brave little Toaster, but he's not really that brave. <laughs> like he's afraid of water. Um, yet he is not like the super nicest dog when we go on walks he's like a little rascal and loves to bark at people and other dogs so we're working on that um, and he loves socks so if you ever come to our house and you take your socks off they will be gone <laughs> he will take them he doesn't hurt them he just like uses them to tease you and get you to chase after him and play with him 
he took one of my socks. I'm literally wearing one sock right now because I took it off for some reason and then he took it and put it underneath this bed and I can't reach it. So <laughs> there you go, that's toaster. Okay, um, next question. What do you typically do as a reading teacher and how did you get started teaching? Okay, so I um, started teaching right after college but I did not go to school for teaching. My degrees are actually in um, psychology and child and family studies. I really thought that I would in, in high school, I thought I might be a psychologist. Um, and then in college, I thought I picked up that, um, well, actually I majored in child and family studies and picked up psychology as a second major just because they fit in so well together. Um, and I kind of started leaning towards more like healthcare. And so I um, did a practicum or like an internship my last semester of college in a children's hospital and I really, really loved it. I thought I might go on to further my education and do, um, now I can't even remember what it's called, um, be a, ch a child life specialist. Um, so child life specialists are non-medical staff that work in a hospital um, with children and families, and they're not really like a therapist, but they're also kind of just that liaison between the families and the doctors to help families with that process. I'm probably not explaining that super well, but that's really something that I thought I would love doing. Um, but here I am a teacher like six years later <laughs> and it's kind of crazy that that happened. Um, so my senior year, when I was doing that practicum, I was also working for Teach for America. I was recruiting on campus for them. And I remember in my interview, I told them that I would never teach <laughs> but I would recruit other people to teach. Haha. <laughs> ha. So, of course, through the stories that people told, I kind of ended up deciding that I wanted to apply for Teach for America. And Teach for America is just a, a uh, I wanted to say global, but it's not. Nationwide, there we go, um, program that takes high achieving college students and trains, trains them in the summer and puts them into high needs schools for two years to teach. Um, so like I said, I didn't go to school for teaching, but I did become a teacher my first year after college. So basically I went to like a six week intensive summer program to learn to teach. I taught at a summer school and then boom, first year teaching. And it was rough. Like it was so hard. Um, I went to school in Tennessee and I and I moved to Dallas maybe a week after graduation. Um, I chose Dallas because I just wanted to move somewhere different. I just wanted to go somewhere and who would have thought I would still be here <laughs> years later. Um, but anyway, I will kind of fast forward but know that that first year was really hard and I thought I would never make it through teaching another year, let alone five more. <laughs> um, but. I taught fourth grade my first year. I honestly pray for those fourth graders because, man, that was rough. We had a tough time, but we got through it together. Um, I think those fourth graders are going to be in 10th or 11th grade next year, which is super, super cool. And yes, yeah, so I taught fourth grade for one year. It was really hard for me. And I, um, with my leadership's help, we decided to, like, I, I just decided I needed to change. So we moved to kindergarten and I taught kindergarten my second year and it was like a whole new world. I loved it. So I ended up teaching kindergarten for two years and then I decided I think I thought that I would really be strong in an intervention role. An intervention here in Texas basically means you are not a classroom teacher but you do um, small group teaching. So like all day you just get different small groups of kids that may be struggling a little bit in one specific area and you work with them on that for just like half an hour and then they go back to their classrooms. Um, so that position was not available at my current school. So I ended up switching schools to another charter school in my district and that's where I am today. I'm still doing that three years later. So I've been teaching this I just ended my sixth year of teaching and I'm going into my seventh, still in the reading intervention role. This will be my fourth year in the same role, which is pretty crazy. That's the longest job, that's the longest position, same position I've had, which is, is pretty awesome. So it's gonna be an interesting school year. We don't know exactly what it's gonna be like yet, um, but we are kind of prepared for anything. We have an awesome staff and yeah, 
it'll be good. Oh, and I forgot to say, what I do daily as a reading teacher, um, it kind of varies from year to year and the needs of my school, but basically I pull like five kids at a time um, to my classroom and we work together for 30 minutes on basic reading skills. If I'm working with younger kids, we're gonna work on phonics, um, words, like really easy, you know, um, sampler books. If I'm working with fifth, fifth graders, I worked with a lot of fourth and fifth graders this past year. We're um, really focusing on comprehension, building those skills, um, and doing just a lot of reading, basically. Um, I also work with dyslexic students. That's something that's a little bit newer for me. Um, so I am still honing my skills on that. <laughs> that's something that's a personal goal for me this next year is to get even better at teaching the dyslexia program. Okay, next question now. Um, let's see. I love this one. Does your husband get involved with the cleaning and organizing? Does he help film or set up shots? Um, so he, no, he doesn't help me film. Um, but I think that he might start helping me with some of the more like um, digital stuff. He's actually really good at like animation. Well, not animations, but like um, I don't know, he has his own streaming channel. <laughs> and so he streams video games and he's been doing an amazing job with that. I mean, he just really started a month ago and his um, Twitch channel has like taken off. And so I'm really proud of him for that. So I'm he's learning a lot of new skills and I'm hoping he can help me with those things. But um, no, he doesn't help me with filming. Um, cleaning, yes, he does help with cleaning. He has like specific like chores and I, this sounds like I'm assigning them to him like he's a little kid but really we kind of like agreed on them and I feel like cleaning is my thing like that's the role that I've chosen for myself because I enjoy it and I want to be in charge of it <laughs> so I kind of we kind of like figured out together what would be best so um, what Kent typically does like on a, on a daily basis his his things that he has ownership of is like he makes the bed every day which i love that he does that it is so awesome he takes out the trash which i hate doing um and he kind of does more of like the things that aren't daily chores but like are things that our house needs like if the fire alarm needs changing um if we have like bugs he takes care of like our um person that comes and does the bucks. I mean, he just takes care of that kind of stuff. I really like and enjoy doing the cleaning. Now, that being said, if I ask Ken to do something, he will do it. Um, he's about to help me a lot because we have a lot of decluttering to do. So be looking for those videos here soon. Um, oh, also, I just wanna say too, like um, Kent is really, really good about, if I set up a system, he's really good about like following following it and so he really doesn't make messes like if I just like left like I wouldn't worry if I left for um, like a week and went home and visited my family I wouldn't worry about what my house was going to be like when I came back because um, I don't know he's a grown man like he knows how to take care of things um, and he does a really good job with that okay next question what sorority were you a part of um, I was a Delta Gamma so yeah that feels like another lifetime ago it was a really good experience um, but by the time i was a senior i was ready to go but i do i did love um, the sorority life it was a lot of fun and i'm glad to be past it i have not connected with any alumni chapters um, since graduating so no, nothing nothing really negative that happened i just i just haven't i don't know i have new social circles now i guess Okay, um, do you have anything you hate to clean or organize? Um, I really don't like doing the trash. Um, I don't know, there's something about like having to empty the trash, smaller trash cans into the larger trash cans and then take the trash bag out, take it to the garage. I don't know, that just is annoying to me. So I'm really glad that Kent does that. I told him I hate that chore and that, and he said he would do it. Um, is there anything I hate to organize? Um, not particularly uh i like to organize i like to organize just in general i will say that i put off organizing my own things more than other people's because it's a lot easier to like organize other people's stuff and help them get rid of stuff 
it's harder to do it for yourself. So I do like organizing other people's things and helping them. My mother-in-law just moved and it's been a lot of fun to organize her pantry and kitchen. So that video is gonna come is coming out on Friday. So there's gonna be a lot of inspiration in there. It's really, really good. Okay, um, what do you do for a living? Any ideas from another type one? I'm assuming you mean Enneagram type one. Um, I'm an Enneagram type one. Um, and I am a teacher, I'm an interventionist. Also, my other title would be like a reading specialist, which is what it's sometimes called. Um, do you know your Myers-Briggs type? I do know my Myers-Briggs type, but I did have to look it up to know what all the letters are. So I am an INTJ. So I would love to know what your Myers-Briggs type is. Being a psychology major, I loved personality tests. I think that they're all to be taken with a grain of salt because everyone is a super unique individual. And just because you're a type doesn't mean you are always a certain way. But I think it does sometimes help to see these personality types and be able to say, oh, I am like that. That's why I'm like that, especially for um, weaknesses, because I feel like it helps you not feel alone and sometimes know how to overcome them. So here is it what an INTJ is. The INTJ is the architect. Um, I stands for introverted. Um, the N is for intuitive. The T is for thinking and the J is for judging. Um, so here's this sentence that <laughs> describes the architect. Um, These thoughtful tacticians love perfecting the details of life, applying creativity and rationality to everything they do. Their inner, inner world is often a private, complex one. And I really do feel like that describes me well. So I am certainly an introvert. Um, I love people. I love talking, but I also like really, really need alone time. I was actually driving in the car today from my mother-in-law's back to my house. And if you don't know my mother-in-law and her boyfriend and also my brother-in-law, they've been living with us. And you know, obviously that has changed our world. Um, and I was driving in the car today and I was like, this is the first time that I've been like alone, that I wasn't working <laughs> in another room of the house for a while and it made me kind of think like this is probably how moms feel when they like I don't know get in the car to go to a doctor's appointment when they like don't have their kids <laughs> like it's like oh wow this is really nice um anyway I am an introvert I know that I need alone time to refresh to synthesize my day to feel ready to like to to renew my energy to give to other people being around people is always fun for me but it does drain my energy and so I just know that about myself. I'm not definitely not shy, I'm not a shy introvert, I'm just someone who needs a little alone time. Um, and then I don't know about the intuitive and the thinking part, sure. <laughs> and then judging, I always hate that one, but it is true, I am always evaluating, especially myself, how I can be better. So I feel like the INTJ is definitely my personality type. I'm also an Enneagram one if you are interested in Enneagrams and if you have if you know about the um, four tendencies Gretchen Rubin I am a questioner so there you go if you're a, a personality test like buff that's all the info about me that I have <laughs> maybe I, if I miss one let me know I will try to let you know what that is okay now we are on page two of questions so we are more than halfway done here. Oh yeah, we're way more than halfway done. Just about, I think, six questions left. All right, I love this one from my friend Bethany. Um, she said, if you weren't a teacher, what would your profession be? YouTube doesn't count. So there are two other professions that I've considered um, in my life. Um, the first one I touched on a little bit earlier, I'll, I'll speak to it again. But the other one I was considering a lot in the beginning of high school, and that was to be a professional ballerina. So I used to dance six days a week for hours every single day. Ballet was what I really um, was interested in and what I kind of excelled in. And I was, I was gearing towards a life of like professional ballerina. But somewhere in um, my sophomore year of high school, my interest, I just kind of burned out and then I got injured and, and life just changed for me. That's actually when I really 
um, discovered knitting and got into that. I got a job at a yarn store. And so that's kind of a pivot point in my life when I look back um, that has been really positive for me, but I don't regret all of those hours spent dancing. So that's one career. Um, I would not want to do that now because, um, man, it's physically tolling and the hours, no thank you. <laughs> um, so if I had to do something else, I would, I would definitely um, still consider the um, child life specialist, but again, the hours on that can be hard. If you're an emergency room child life specialist, you know, you're working those 12 hour shifts. Um, so my current, what I wish I was doing, like literally I would do this now if, if the opportunity um, arose, is that the right thing? I would love to be uh, on a team of professional organizers. I just think that that would be so fun and so inspirational to, you know, go into somebody else's house and help them with a specific area, a closet, a kitchen, or even like what I just did with my mother-in-law's house. You know, she just moved in. Wouldn't it be great? And I'm sure this job exists, but to be like, okay, I'm, you know, I've paid the movers. My stuff is here, but my stuff needs to be put into place. So I just think that would be so cool to be that person who like organizes your kitchen and your pantry for you, puts all your forks away and your food and everything. And it's just like nice and organized. So that's my current like dream career besides YouTube because that is definitely um, one that I want to make happen for me. Um, but teacher for now. Um, okay. Uh, kids question mark <laughs> I knew I was gonna get that one um, you're the best at all of the mom chores lol you definitely inspire me to get them done oh I love that I don't know what a mom chore is though but I I'm glad <laughs> that I'm inspiring you um, yes kids I would love to have kids but not yet we have been married for you know over two and a half years so a lot you know that question gets asked a lot um, but we're just not there yet, but definitely at some, well, not definitely, I don't know, I guess. At some point, I think that I would love to have kids. Of course, it is a marriage decision, so we will figure that out together. Um, but yeah, I've always thought of myself, um, like imagine myself being a mom someday. Um, so yeah, I would love to have kids. I would love that. Okay. Um, oh, that's not a question. You know, you get those like spammy ones on here hate that. Okay. Um, this one says, will you do a tour of your house? Yes, I am planning to do a tour of my house. It's probably a ways down the road though. Um, there's a specific kind of time that I want to do this tour of my house. Um, so we'll see. I do have it on my list of things, so it will come soon. Um, that's the other thing that I love when I find somebody on YouTube is I'll be like, okay, do they have a house tour? I want to see what their house, you know, looks like the layout of it and everything. Okay, just a couple more questions. I hope that this has been um, fun for you. Um, and again, if you relate to anything, let me know. I would love to learn more about you too. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, do you have any siblings? I do. So I am the oldest of four. Um, I have a brother that is 26, a, another brother that is 20 two, three? Oh shoot. I think he's going to be 23. Yes. 23 this summer. And then a sister who just turned 19. So yes, we have quite the range in my family Two, I have two brothers and a sister. They're all younger than me. They are also all taller than me and they are also all smarter than me. And I can say that genuinely because they are extraordinarily smart um very clever you know scholarships to college extremely good grades i mean <laughs> it's hard to sometimes it's hard to be the older sibling um but anyway yes we are all pretty close and um yeah they're all they all live in the southeast um across tennessee georgia and alabama um so yeah i love that i do get home at least once a year to visit in Nashville, um, but 
I don't know if it's gonna happen this year. I'm hoping we can take a little road trip here soon now that things are getting a little better, um, but I am not sure. Normally, I would probably be in Tennessee right now, it being the week after school ends. That's usually when I go visit my family. Um, so yeah, that is a little sad um, that that didn't happen this year, but small sacrifice compared to what other people have gone through. So I'll be okay, I will see them again soon. Um, why did you move from Texas to, I'm sorry, why did you move to Texas from Tennessee? Um, so after college, when I applied to Teach for America, I thought it would be fun to go somewhere different. I'd never been to Dallas before, but I did have a couple, like I had a friend here, and so that kind of encouraged me, and I just decided that's where I wanted to go. And in Teach for America, you can get um, you can request places, but it, it's not a guarantee. And I, I got placed here, so that was exciting. And yeah, now that I'm married to a uh, Texas-born, Texas-raised man, I think I'm here to stay. <laughs> um, okay, I think this is the last one. Um, what is your favorite thing to do for a date night? And so my husband Kent and I have really tried to have a, a once a night or once a week date night. Um, and we usually do that on Wednesday nights, which I know might sound kind of crazy, like you don't even have kids yet, like why do you have to set aside that time? Um, we are just extremely um, busy. We both have um, pretty demanding jobs that take a lot of hours. I think I just said, <laughs> take a lot of hours. We also have um, pretty intense like jobbies <laughs> so you know hobbies that are that actually make us money and that we put a lot of time and effort to and that is something that we both want right now we both really push each other to you know like kind of achieve those dreams and and hope to turn those jobbies into like true careers um so we actually just we are just so busy all the time and so we do try to set aside those nights that neither one of us have anything scheduled so that we can spend some time together. Um, we also kind of run opposite schedules. I am definitely a morning person whereas he is a night owl so just trying to figure that out in our marriage has been sometimes a challenge um, but we're, we're still learning about each other. We're practically newlyweds at two and a half years um, but we love to have um, at-home date nights, which is great since we're at home right now. Um, we kind of like to do like a movie and popcorn and candy. Um, we've done, actually we did something really fun not too long ago, at least I thought it was fun, um, because you know we couldn't go get to the nail salon, so I made up like a little nail salon in our bathroom. I put like, you know, this much water in the tub so we could like soak our feet and, you know, do little pedicures. And that was fun because we just got to sit and talk. Um, we do like to go on like really long walks at the park and that tends to be a time where, you know, we might be playing Pokemon, but other than that, like we really get the chance to connect. So um, that's something, those are just kinds of the, the, the simple things um, that we like to do. We're not really fancy, you know, we don't really, we used to do a lot of dates, <laughs> a lot of fancy dates, but not anymore. I mean, that's, we just kind of do the simple stuff. So, um, yeah, I think that that is all of the questions. So again, if you have any more questions for me, definitely let me know. I would be happy to answer them to let you get to know me better and hopefully help me get to know you better. Um, again, I have my videos for cleaning, organization, and productivity on Mondays and Fridays at 9 a.m. And you can connect with me also on Instagram at all of this and that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on Friday with a new video. Bye.